Okay, I've printed out my patterns for my circles. Uh, these are going to be the bulkheads, and this is going to be that aft ring uh, that I'm going to drill. Uh, let me show you quick on the computer how I did it. Okay, well, so first I drew my circles, and then I drew these crosses in the middle. Um, this is because it's a four fin rocket, so I need four fins. Um, then I drew lines coming off of the perpendiculars. So these are, I, I chose an arbitrary, arbitrary uh, angle. Um, you can, I used eight degrees. You don't have to use eight degrees. You can use 10 degrees, 15 degrees. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter where these holes go. They're only to allow us to pull that ring out the back. Um, and then I drew a circle around the outside and at the cross points are where my holes are going to go and then I just drew the holes in there. I did uh, go ahead and draw this bulkhead with the sled right there in the, the middle where it's going to go. Um, so here are where um, these little tubes these tubes are a little bit bigger in diameter than a quarter inch, so I measured them and I put them on the hole like there, and then this is going to be glued to that, like that. Um, now, one thing that I realized was that this sled goes all the way from the front of the tube to the back of the tube because there's a little shoulder right here on the end that goes inside there, so when you put them together, it's going to fill up the whole thing. And I realized that um, when I put my eye bolts in there, um, everything on this side of this washer is going to be on the inside of the eBay. So I need to account for that. Now the, the eye bolt itself, the threaded part, will, will miss this. But the, it's going to hit the nut and the washers on the inside. So i got to have clearance for that. So I, um, ideally what is going to happen is it's going to be one on one side, one on the other. But because these take up a lot of room, um, it's going to interfere right here. So I'm going to have to cut this shorter so that it will fit into the eBay. So I'm going to have to cut off. Um, I could approximate that. See, it's, it's, it's the two washers plus a nut distance. So if I squish them all together and just put a caliper on it, I can, I can approximate how much I'm going to have to cut off each end. So about 3 eighths of an inch. So I'm going to have to cut off a good uh, three quarters of an inch on this eBay to make it fit inside. And also on the, on the edges, it does interfere just slightly with the tube, the inside of the tube. So I'll probably also cut maybe an eighth of an inch off of this way and then three quarters inch off of this way. It's still plenty of board for my electronics and the battery, so I'm not worried about that. It's going gonna, it's gonna to fit just fine. I just want to know that ahead of time because I want to do all the prep work first before I start assembling. Um, and this is going to be a nasty job of cutting that straight because um, you could use a bandsaw, but uh, fiberglass just makes them really dull. So I'm going to use a, just a regular metal hacksaw to cut that off. Uh, those blades are pretty cheap. Um, and then for the edge, I'll probably just sand it uh, with some rough sandpaper because I don't have to take off that much. Um, once you get your patterns made, you want to cut them out. Um, and for that, I'm just going to use a hobby knife. Um, just cut them out around the perimeter. Okay, so then this is going to be 
paste it onto the bulkhead like that so that we can take it to the drill press and drill those holes. Um, to make it stick, um, I like to use um, an adhesive spray. Uh, this is spray mount. You can also get the 3M. Um, it's called something different. This is a low-tack version. This is good for stuff that you want to pull off. And so basically what I do is I, I go outdoors. I'm not going to do this indoors because it's really nasty stuff to breathe. So you take it outdoors and you, you spray a, a regular sheet of paper. Then you take your, your pattern, you stick them to the paper, then you hold them up, and then you spray it again. You spray the backside, and then you let it dry. Um, and it's tacky. So then you can just, um, I just line up the edges to make sure that the edges are... are aligned and then just press it down um, and then I'm just going to drill right through the paper and when I'm done I can just peel it right back off so I'll put this one on and oops wrong one this this one here with the notch in it is for the the forward one because that's for the shock cord this is gonna be my back one Okay, and then the final one goes on the other bulkhead disc like this. Okay, so the next time we'll just uh, go ahead and drill these holes on a drill press. Um, and then I think we can start assembling it. Um, I'm going to wait and do the eBay sled, cutting that to length in a little bit, a little, little later. I don't want to do that right now. I just want to start building because that's the fun part.